Market Aurora. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, to the Minister of Health. When uh, the Auditor General tables his uh, special report on Orange this Wednesday, we know that the Minister of Health will once again insist that neither she nor her ministry knew anything, heard anything about what was going on at Orange under her watch. I asked the Minister to explain this. On April 14, 2008, Keith Walmsley, a financial analyst at Orange, sent this letter to the then Minister of Health Promotion in which he exposed a number of business practices at Orange that he described as deceitful. He also exposed the fact that Orange was keeping two sets of books for the express purpose of hiding a $5 million Questions? surplus from the ministry. I would like to know this. What action did the Minister of Health Promotion and the Minister of Health take when they received that letter in April of Minister 2008? Of Speaker, I think that uh, when it comes to air ambulance service in this province, the people of Ontario have three, three pretty uh, straightforward questions. The first question is, if somebody they love needs an air ambulance, are they going to get the care they need? And the answer is absolutely yes. Ontario is blessed to have one of the finest air ambulance services in the world, Speaker. The second question is, have you fixed the problem? Yes. And the answer to that, Speaker, is yes. I look forward to the Auditor General's report coming in. But I can tell you, Speaker, I didn't wait for that. I sent in a forensic audit team, Speaker. We, the, uh, the entire senior management team, including the Board of Directors, Speaker, has been replaced. The issue is now under investigation with the Ontario Provincial Police. Answer. I will be introducing new legislation, Speaker, that will make sure this does not happen again. Thank you. And we are working on a new... Supplementary. Speaker, once again, once again, the minister has no idea that a, that a letter even existed. I've just sent the minister copies not only of the letter sent to the ministry, but of the ministry's response, in which, on December 29, 2008, Ruth Hawkins, the executive lead of the ministry's corporate and direct services division, assured Mr. Walmsley that the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Finance's team of investigative forensic investigators acted quickly, to use her, her words, to investigate the allegations and all is looked after. The result? They did nothing. I asked the Minister this. Who should be held accountable for allowing the scamming and the skimming to continue Question. at Orange for the four years while she was Minister? the Forensic Investigations Team, the Corporate Direct Service Div Division, Thank you. or the Minister responsible. Thank you. Minister Health. Speaker, um, I have a tremendous amount of confidence in the Auditor General. The Auditor General will release his report this week. I think it's important that, uh, as we always do, Speaker, that we listen to the Auditor General and that we act on the recommendations of the Auditor General. I also have tremendous confidence in the Ontario Provincial Police Speaker, and they are investigating uh, uh, some allegations related to Orange as well. So there is a lot of oversight at Orange right now, Speaker. I think it's very important that uh, we allow that work to, to be done, Speaker, and I also think it's very important that members of this legislature uh, uh, take their responsibilities seriously. I understand that uh, public accounts committees, uh, Speaker, will be uh, looking at issues related to Orange. We will be introducing legislation, Speaker, shortly. That will if it passes uh, first and second reading. We'll go to committee. So I have every confidence that the people in this House Thank will you. take their responsibilities seriously. New question.